Surfers, I'm Zoe Brandon. And I'm Toby Lindmeyer. Welcome to the Nets' number one highlights show. That's right, it's The Surf, the show that gives you the best of the best and the best of the worst on the World Wide Web. Our trusty team of net nerds have dredged the depths of cyberspace to give you this week's hottest finds. So let's get started. Toby? Wax up the board, surfers. Here comes your high tide. Topping every chart this week is a brand new site that not even our team saw coming. Check it out, tanatwork.com. Using a technology compatible with newer flat screen monitors, tanatwork.com offers users the ability to tan their face using their computer screen. Log on, register for a small fee, and in no time, a powerful stream of UV light emanates right from the browser window while soft music plays. And yes, it includes a printable pair of eye covers. Now that we've seen what's hot, let's check out what's washed up in a segment we like to call Washed Up. First off is this week's least reported story. In a merger that no one is buzzing about, internet provider Prodigy acquired search engine AltaVista for the sum of $400 and a box of Frere Rocher. But the biggest loser on the web this week was Google. That's right, the internet giant took a major wipe out this week when their new phone service, Google Phone, led to the death of a Minnesota family. Google Phone took the concept of ads triggered by email content to the next level, requiring users to listen to advertisements relating to their phone conversations. 911, what's your emergency? There's been an accident. Uh, I need an ambulance at 710 East 8th Street. Looking for a restaurant downtown? Say yes to hear today's special at Luigi's on 9th Street. What? I said I need an ambulance! I heard you say ringtones. Is that correct? Sir, I can't understand. Please, it's so much blood! Whoa. That looks like one call that won't be completed as dialed. Sorry, Google. All right, surfers, it's time to scope some tech so fresh it hasn't even dropped yet. Let's check out what's on the break. To see what's breaking this week, we go live to the National Electronics Expo with our man Pauly D, live via cell phone camera. Pauly, how's it going? Great. Okay, so tell us. Thanks for asking. It seems like there might be some delay. With well, Toby, I'm here at the National Electronics Expo where the big news is Sunflower Industries and their CEO, Dan Jordan. About an hour ago, he gave a press conference unveiling a major new product line. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the future. Today, I'd like to introduce you to a new technology that merges time savings with keyboards. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the ING key. Now this revolutionary new technology allows you with one simple keystroke to type the letters I, N, and G. S with the ING key, SING. We hit it again, SING ING. We hit it yet a third time, Sing, ing, ing. The possibilities are endless. Wow, right? And as if that wasn't enough, Sunflower Industries is also set to unveil the Caps Lock pedal for hands-free capitalizing. Looks like blogging's about to get real easy. Back to you guys. Okay, surfers, that's all we got for this week. Remember, you heard it here first. We'll see you next time on, on the, the Surf. surf.